Well, hey there, and welcome to our launch for our big December countdown to win. We are so excited. I'm here with Jacqueline today. Jacqueline, how are you? I am buzzing. I've been trying to stay calm all morning, but like seven in the morning, I woke up like it honestly was a holiday morning. I'm like, finally, we get to announce everything we've been working on. I feel like I've been at BBL a little bit working in the North Pole behind the scenes. So I'm excited to get this going and get the snowball rolling, if you will. Awesome. I'm so excited as well. And Effie is here with us. She, uh, unfortunately, Effie had a long trip from the North Pole and she's come down with a little bit of laryngitis. So uh, she's unable to, to speak today, but I did have a little uh, communication with her before and she passed on her five top tips for stressless wedding planning. So we're going to get to those in just a little bit. But first, we are so, so excited to be launching our Countdown to Win for this year. If you have been following us for a long time, you know that we did this last year. But this year, of course, in true Unmistakably You fashion, everything is bigger and better. So we have some amazing, incredible vendor partners on board to share some awesome prizes. And uh, Effie has agreed to join us to help with our, uh, with our giveaways and to guide you through each day of the countdown. And we are just so excited for some positive, exciting, interaction in what has been a couple of kind of difficult years. Mm -hmm. And I think especially heading into the holiday season, it's no joke that it's not always the least stressful time. I think buying presents, hosting, I don't want to say more because I'm already giving, like, giving myself hives. But the holiday season sometimes brings a lot of stress. So the fact that we might be able to gift a few lovely people some less wedding stress, it makes my heart so happy. Absolutely. And that's what we here at Unmistakably You try to do is reduce your stress level so that you can enjoy your planning process, enjoy your engagement, and most and most importantly, enjoy your wedding day. So Jacqueline, do you want to tell us a little bit about the concept of our countdown and how it works and how, how couples can enter and hopefully win? I absolutely do. I absolutely do. So if anybody was following us last year, it's very similar. You just need to follow us on Facebook or like us on, or sorry, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. And each day there'll be a daily challenge or a prompt, if you will, posted on each of those pages. It's going to be the same on each page. If you wanted to participate on both channels, you're more than welcome to, but it's really only one entry per day per person. But all the challenges are just interacting with us. We might ask you a couple questions about your wedding plans. We could ask you a couple questions about what you like about the holiday season. All you have to do is give us a little piece of you and you could end up with a lot of pieces for your wedding day. It's a pretty, I won't say an unbalanced deal, but it kind of is if we're being honest. So as long as you're following us on Instagram, you'll be reminded to do these prompts every day. If you wanted to get a little head start, you can also, not using the word cheat, but use to your advantage by turning on notifications where you'll get a notification every time our page posts something. So you're never missing an entry. There might be a few double days. There might be a few opportunities for you to get double points, depending on if the challenge goes a little bit more extreme or not. And of course, we'd like you to interact with as many of our beautiful vendors that have joined us this year as possible. So giving them a follow, making sure you're interacting on their pages, getting to know them. Because like we're saying, we want to give you a beautiful bundle to make your wedding day less stressful. So if you kind of can put your energy towards what prize you'd like to win, I'm a true believer that the universe will give you what you wish for. But make sure you are reading the fine print because there is going to be an incredible surprise that our own Effie plans. And with that, since it is a particular prize, you're just going to have to be a little bit more cautious about what you do enter because we know that that prize might only be suitable for a few couples. And we're definitely going to fill you in on all of the prizes in just a minute. We actually have the opportunity for six couples to win, as opposed to last year where we had one grand prize. This year, as Jacqueline mentioned, we have put together some incredible bundles with services and gifts from our vendor partners. And so 
Any couple is eligible to win those services, not just couples who are not already booked with us. Of course, our grand prize is only eligible to be won by a couple who is not already an unmistakably you client. So we wanted to open things up so that our current clients also can share in the fun. So we've got wonderful vendor partners and we've bundled together some incredible services. So we'll fill you in on those in just a minute. And as Jacqueline mentioned, we also have an opportunity for a lucky couple to win something completely different from our traditional wedding geared packages. So we're going to fill you in on those as well. It's almost like a little contest in a contest. So I'm going to uh, try my tech savvy here and I'm going to uh, just try to share my screen for a second. Uh, give me one second to navigate the tech. That's okay. I'm so thankful it's you and not me. My hands are politely folded and I'm letting Amy do all of the <laughs> today and it's been lovely. I'm just going to sit here and sit my orange juice. Enjoy yourself. Well, <laughs> well I'm going to need you to tell me if we're looking good or not. I know um, that we've got a few people looking. Everything was good on my end, but can you three just give me either a little thumbs up in the comments or anything just letting us know if you can see that lovely graphic? You should be looking at our uh, our main title slide here um, about our countdown to win, which, like I said, this year has six incredible prizes that you could be eligible to win. And the first grand prize, of course, is a free day of wedding coordination package with us here at Unmistakably You. We take really great pride in this service, and we feel like it's really incredibly valuable for anyone, uh, regardless of where you're getting married, if you're getting married at a hotel or a golf course or a banquet hall or a barn or a backyard or a tent, no matter where your wedding is, we're going to take really good care of you on your day to make sure that you have support not only on the day, but through the planning process so that you never feel alone, so that you never feel overwhelmed and so that you never feel stressed. So that is our grand prize and eligible to win that grand prize, like I said, is anyone who is not already a unmistakably you client. Now, we did want to include our clients because we really value them and we love our clients and we wanted to make sure that you had the opportunity to participate as well. So Effie came up with the idea of putting together some vendor bundles. So we have three incredible bundles that are full of incredibly valuable and really awesome prizes. And the first is the Sparkle Bundle. So our Sparkle Bundle features a perfectly planned ceremony from Melissa Taylor of All Seasons Weddings. And she is just an incredible human. She's a wonderful officiant, sweet, kind, caring. She will put together an incredible wedding ceremony for you if you win the Sparkle Bundle. To add to that, you would win a 16 by 20 canvas from the wonderful Heather of HRM Photography. If you don't have a photographer already, we absolutely advise you to check out HRM. They're incredibly artistic and talented, as well as a $50 gift card from Neon Lights Canada. Now, this is a really, really cool company that's kind of new to the scene, and they're in Strathroy. They have the capacity to make anything you want into a neon sign. So your names, your monogram, uh, a special word, um, what an awesome touch to add to your decor at your wedding. That leads us into our Joy Bundle, and our Joy Bundle features a $100 gift card for Music Central Entertainment. So if you are still looking for DJ services, Rob and his team will take incredible care of you. 10% uh, off of wedding flowers plus free delivery from Rosemary at Time for Flowers. And she is just an awesome florist who just, she, she is a uh, a wonderful person who just has the greatest sense of humor and does beautiful wedding flowers as well. Um, then we have a $100 gift card for Woodgate Photography. So Erin and her team at Woodgate are also artistic and awesome, and they take just beautiful photos and put you at ease in front of the camera. And then following that up with a 2023 ceremony, uh, Jody from uh, Something New Officiant and her team are completely booked up for 2022. It's been a busy, busy year, um, but she is also gifting a ceremony as well as assistance crafting your personal vows, which is such an awesome prize. And finally, our cheer bundle 
features a $50 gift card from Maureen at Pondside Ministries to be used towards a ceremony. Again, she will craft a lovely personal and wonderful ceremony for you. In addition to that, we have a $100 gift card from Dave and the crew over at DJ Alpha. They, were, they will guarantee to keep your dance party hopping with no lame DJs. Uh, free engagement photo shoot from Adam Gorley Photography, which is wonderful. We love working with Adam and his team, as well as a free makeup trial and a bundle of really awesome makeup goodies. I saw a picture of it this morning from Erica over at Blush Hair and Makeup Artistry. So three incredible, incredible bundles that anyone is eligible to win. And then as we've been mentioning, we have a really fun kind of contest in a contest going on. And that is another special elopement package, actually. So again, doesn't necessarily apply to you if you've already started planning or are hoping for a more traditional, larger scale wedding. But if you are just kind of at the point where you want to get married, maybe you've had to postpone, maybe planning during COVID is stressing you out. Maybe you just want something really small and intimate. We've partnered with Laughing Goat Lane Yoga Studio, as well as Dylan and Sandra Photography, to give you a really incredible luxury winter elopement at the Laughing Goat Lane Yoga Studio, as well as discounts on their overnight stays at Air, their Airbnb on site um, and coordination by us. So we will help you to make that a really incredible and personal um, prize and an elopement for you. So if you are interested in the elopement option, it will be a separate entry procedure. We're going to feature that on Fridays. So make sure that you're following us, make sure that you're following Laughing Goat Lane as well as Dylan and Sandra and look out for ways to enter. That will be on three Fridays in December. So again, separate from the rest of the prizes. And finally, our last prize, because I am a huge brunch fan, as, as so is Effie, uh, for the most engaged participant, see what we did there? Uh, you could win a brunch in a box. So if you happen to be all over this contest and you're posting and you're commenting and you're participating in every challenge and you just don't have the luck of the Irish to win one of our other mm -hmm. prizes, uh, we will happily grant you a brunch in a box, which is going to be full of all of the yummy things that you need to make some mimosas and enjoy some yummy food and sort of hunker down in a snowy winter's morning in your PJs with your partner. So those are our incredible prizes for this year. Now, and we're just so excited. I'm so excited, but I'm also so jealous of all of you. Of all of you. You know <laughs> how incredible all of those are. And of course, I'm biased. I help put it together. But seriously, even just hearing it out loud again, I said, oh my gosh. So, so exciting. We are very much looking forward to giving away all of these awesome prizes. I added it up. There are some variables in there depending on, you know, the percentages and, and that kind of thing. But we're somewhere in the vicinity of $5,700 to $6,000 worth of prizes that we're so pumped to give away. Yeah. Now, I thought we would just bring on our grand prize winners from last year. So we have them here with us. Derek and Deanna, hello, how are you? Good, how are you guys doing? Oh, I'm so we good, it's so great. nice to see you again. <laughs> how has it been? So, You've been married for close to two months now, right? Yeah, it's been, I mean, we were together for a long time before we got married. We've been together about eight years, but it's been really nice to actually have been married now or gotten married, so it's been wonderful. So good. So good. Awesome. I'm so sorry that I couldn't be at your wedding, but congratulations. I've seen such gorgeous photos and it was just such an intimate, beautiful day. So congratulations to the two of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Now, of course, we don't just want to catch up with you two. We also need to pick your brains a little bit. Now, for those of you who don't know, Deanna and Derek are actually the winners of our holiday giveaway last year, which means they won our grand prize of a day of coordination. This was well before we had a plethora of other prizes. So I just have to know, are you a little jealous with all the other prizes this year? Just a little bit. I like <laughs> turned to him while we were watching it and I was like, um, this is incredible. Like there's so, and the packages too are amazing because it helps you out when, with the planning. There's honestly so much, as you guys both know, that goes into planning a wedding. So yeah, that it's, 
very jealous. <laughs> I know. I'm not biased. I think you two ultimately won. Of course, I'm going to be cheesy. You won a husband and a wife this year. So that's already a great prize in itself. Now, I know you two had mentioned that you were a little bit on the fence about getting a day of coordinator before you entered this incredible giveaway. So looking back now, if you hadn't have won the giveaway, are you would you still have gone with the day of coordinator, do you think? Oh, like a thousand percent, we would have gotten a day of coordinator. Like <laughs> at, we did have a smaller wedding, as you know, and even still, I think that's more why we were on the fence about it. Um, everyone was obsessed with you. Our five-year-old niece, Noelle, like she was like, oh, oh I miss Noelle. Cool. Yeah, so um, we had nothing but compliments afterwards too, and we knew that we were in good hands. Like we didn't have to worry about anything. I must have turned to Derek so many times that day and I said, I don't know what's going on right now, but I know it's on schedule. So <laughs> I can't imagine how it would have been like without you guys there. So Yeah. Uh, well thank you. Obviously like that just makes me warm and fuzzy, but granted, yeah. it's what we do, it's what we love to do. I think regardless if you guys have won the giveaway, I still would have found a way to elbow my way into your wedding, I think. <laughs> now if yeah, you can remember without you, truly, like I I said it numerous times to Derek during the day, like we were able to sneak away because of you. There just were so many, it was so nice. And I honestly, I'm a control freak too. So you had everything down to the minute. You're a whole nother like level of organized. So it was just awesome to have someone better at it than I am, I guess, taking care of the day. <laughs> I won't say better. We'll go with more experience because your notes yeah. all the way through, very organized as well. Thank you. Now, obviously, you mentioned getting away to sneak away on your wedding day, but while we're kind of in this wedding mode, was there another moment for you two that was like your absolute favorite moment? Like, Derek, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but I think that first look, I still get chills remembering your face watching. It. How did you know? Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say, actually. my The first look was my favorite part of the whole, the whole thing. Gorgeous. What about you, Deanna? It, probably the same for me, because when we turned around to start taking the photos after we did our first look, I saw you off to the side, like wiping tears from your eyes. It was so sweet. Like, I don't know. It just was, it was such a nice experience to have with each other. And it just made us feel that much more ready to go in and actually get married because we had that moment to ourselves. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's so good. Now, I'm not going to make you try to hash out memories from a year ago, but talking favorite memories. Did you have a favorite challenge from last year, kind of a favorite moment of the giveaway? I know that you were one of our amazing cocktail party attendees, which I always appreciated. Yeah, I think for me, I really liked the, I think one was like post a picture in Matthew's jammies or something like that. And because last year we couldn't go to like a work party or something like that, I ended up just making a collage of matching jammies Derek and I had done in the past and the last couple times we had gotten to our work Christmas party. So I thought that one was really cute because he hates that kind of stuff, but I think it's so adorable when <laughs> couples wear like matching jammies. So I think that was probably one of the favorite things. Awesome. And I know it's one of my favorites. Yeah, I love too being able to see different vendors that you guys work with and interact with. I think that was a neat part too because I, I knew nothing about getting married and I was able to find so much information through like your posts and sharing other vendors as well, that it was really beneficial. I'm so thankful. That's great I'm so to thankful. hear. That's, that's exactly why we put it together. That's so good to hear. We, that's our, our goal year round, not just in December, is to be a resource for couples. I We often find that couples are apologetic when they come to us and they say, well, I just don't know what we should do. We don't know what to do first and we're, we're so overwhelmed and I'm, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, why are you apologizing? How many weddings have you planned? So yeah. that's our job. Our job is to give you the resources to help you plan a great wedding. So we're glad to hear that we're succeeding at that. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I the resources that you have, even if I came to one of you during the time, like at no point did I feel like I was just a contest winner or something like that. Like I, I knew you were both there for me. You gave resources to Derek and I when we needed them. And I met with you guys first in January and then when we met in person closer to the day of, when Derek and I left, we just felt we we're like, Okay, we feel so much better about this. Like <laughs> We felt completely at ease after meeting with you guys in the studio. Oh, that's Amazing. so good. And like Amy said, that's always our goal. 
So I know you've kind of been hinting at it throughout all these little conversation pieces, but if there's anybody that was in the same position you two were in last year, where you're a little on the fence with getting a day of coordinator, do you have any advice for them? Oh, just honestly, just meet with them. Like just <laughs> meet with either one or anyone on their team. Um, Derek's stepsister just got engaged a couple weeks ago and instantly I was Ooh. like, join this contest. <laughs> I was like, go ahead. Like you were there, you know what she's like. So yeah, it's, I meet them. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Well, congratulations. That's to your awesome. Sister. Well done. You must have inspired at the wedding. Well done. That's what he kept saying. He's like, I inspired him to propose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Well, thank you both so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I know Sunday afternoons are precious to most people, so I appreciate you sitting down again. It was lovely seeing your faces again. You guys as well. Thank you so much for having yeah. us. And again, for having the contest, because it was just, we couldn't have done it without your help. So we really uh -huh. appreciate it. You're so welcome. And I know I'm working behind the scenes, so I'll have not my fingers crossed, but my toes crossed for your family for the contest. I don't yes, want to get too absolutely. biased. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, congratulations. I, I wish you all the best for a marriage that is infinitely better than your wedding day was. Perfect. Thank, thank you so much. much. All right. Take care. Happy holidays. Bye, Bye you too. Oh, so awesome to reconnect with them. They're awesome. They're so lovely. They make me so happy. It's not that I don't scroll through everyone's wedding galleries, but especially theirs. Those shoes, <laughs> I can't get over them. <laughs> Absolutely. They were gorgeous. All right. Well, I think that that was a really great way to sort of start to talk about uh, some some things that are important in your wedding planning. And I know that Effie, before she lost her voice, actually, was uh, was sharing with me some of her top tips for how to navigate your wedding planning uh, with a minimum of stress and overwhelm. So if you are newly engaged, um, these are, I think, some really valuable tips from Effie. Uh, about how to, uh, you know, try and, and stay calm and cool and collected throughout the planning process. So again, just bear with me for one second while I get my screen up here. We'll take now, a community Effie does orange juice break. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? We'll do a community orange juice break again while you do it. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so hopefully you're looking at Effie's planning tip number one right now, um, which is to start with a realistic, comfortable budget in mind. And this is something that I know we talk about, uh, you know, sort of incessantly. Um, so I'm glad to hear that Effie is on the same page. I know that the, uh, you know, the market in the North Pole is a little bit different where planning is concerned, but I think that this is a, a pretty ubiquitous one. So um, recognizing that you know, unless you have unlimited funds to direct towards your wedding, there are going to have to be some compromises along the way. And coming up with that realistic budget can sometimes be really challenging. So we are planning in the spring to do a budget workshop. So if you're in the position of having the challenges of knowing what's realistic and how much to budget, then rest assured, we've got your back. So keep an eye on our page and we'll be uh, coming up with a date for that budget workshop really soon. So Effie's second tip is priorities. And it's so important to make sure that you and your partner are on the same page and that you agree about where the money should go. Because if you have different priorities or if you're working against each other, it's going to be that much more stressful and difficult for you to navigate the planning process and to enjoy your engagement. So making sure that you're on the same page about your must haves and your must not haves is really important right off the bat. So Effie, I think is right on the money with that one. And then she suggests coming up with a game plan and sticking to it. So procrastination is not your friend, despite what you may have thought in high school or university, um, especially when we're looking at two upcoming seasons, 2022 and 2023, that are likely to be very, very busy. It's almost like that double cohort. If you were in the year where they eliminated OAC in, in Ontario, it was twice as hard to get into universities and colleges and, and the workforce. And uh, that's kind of what it's going to be like with weddings in the next couple of years. We're seeing incredible numbers of bookings already for 22 and into 23. So um, being proactive in your wedding planning, I think, is really important. So good tip, Effie. The fourth one is to respectfully consider others' opinions, but 
to recognize that it is your wedding and not let yourself get bullied into things that aren't important to you. I mean, there are no wedding police. And as long as you're respectful of the opinions that everybody's going to give you once you're engaged, you'll you'll realize this if, you, if you've just gotten engaged, all of a sudden everybody has something to say. Um, but there are no wedding police. So being able to respectfully articulate what your priorities are with your partner to those people who might be pushing you in a direction that you don't want to go in is really something that's going to stand you in good stead throughout the planning. And finally, and this one I think could have been number one, two, three, four, and five, is spend quality time with your partner. Uh, we often see the wedding plans get so overwhelming that they take over your relationship and it's just a constant struggle to try and find time with each other where you're not talking about the wedding. So we encourage you to plan date nights and, and plan wedding free time so that you're not constantly just talking about the planning, which can be so stressful. So like Effie, thank points. you so much. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, you, what Effie. was I was just going to say, I'm so thankful that Effie caught on so early because it's definitely one of the points that Amy and I do our best to stress is that you really have to cherish your engagement. This is an exciting time and likely the only time you will be engaged. So you should spend that time going to showers, chatting with your friends, having some drinks with the guys and really celebrating this monumental time in your life rather than letting it slip away because you're so stressed out. Absolutely. Really, really good advice. So thanks for that, Effie. She's yeah, a wise little help, little elf. <laughs> he is. All right. So just to wrap up here, Jacqueline, let's just kind of recap how to enter because we kind of have three tiers of prizes going on here. So can you just recap for anybody who might have joined us a little bit late on how you're going to enter starting on December 1st? So in just a few days, this launches yes. on our pages. So you've got a couple of days to find us on Instagram because what you'll want to do is follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook because on both of those platforms will be both of the prompts. Now there will only be one prompt a day, so it doesn't matter if you participate on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll know your name, I'll know your username, I'll check my list twice. One entry per day unless the prompt tells you otherwise, but there could be a secondary challenge. Sienna mentioned one where snap a picture of you in your holiday PJs. That actually counted as two because we understood it wasn't just writing a comment. It was convincing your partner to get in holiday PJs. That's worthy of two entries sometimes. So reading the fine print, knowing how many entries are with, understanding that there is the one grand prize of the day of coordination. There's three separate bundles that you could be entered to win for as well, all based on entries. Then you'll also be eligible if you participate on the Fridays for the specific Effie elopement package little challenges be entered to win that luxury elopement happening anytime between January and April. So again, make sure you're reading the fine print because we would hate, 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 hate to have somebody that wants to have this incredible 200 person wedding be the one that's selected to win that elopement prize when there's somebody that really might be gunning for an elopement. So make sure that you're aware what you're entering for. I'll make it as crystal clear as I possibly can. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out for us. We're doing this for you. We want to make it as easy for you as possible. Absolutely. And so interacting with those vendor partners also is going to be part of the challenge to get entered into those bundle prizes. So keep an eye out for our page to direct you to their pages and uh, we'll get you some extra entries for those bundles as well. So Jacqueline and Effie, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so, so excited about this contest. We can't wait until December 1st to launch it. So keep an eye on our Instagram and our Facebook. If you're not already a member of Wedding Planning Simplified, which is our Facebook group, you'll want to join there as well because some of our challenges will be hosted there also. Now we do a weekly Facebook live video in Wedding Planning Simplified and next week, like I mentioned, it will be part of the giveaway. So if you're going to uh, join us next week at one o'clock, you'll get an extra entry into the challenge. And we are also going to be doing something pretty cool. We're going to be here at the studio talking about how to put together a tablescape. Now, whether you're going to apply that to your holiday party tablescapes or to your wedding, we'll have valuable tips and advice for both. So join Join us here at our studio live on Facebook in Wedding Planning Simplified next Sunday at 1 p.m. 
thanks for being here and uh you know enjoy the rest of your snowy sunday if you're here in ontario we got quite a dumping of the white stuff overnight so hopefully you're uh, you're a fan of that or you're in comfies cuddled up on your couch with some hot chocolate exactly whatever you need to do to survive it we'll know you find your way <laughs> all right happy holidays to everybody jacqueline thank you enjoy the rest of your day i'm looking forward to chatting in person soon Take See everybody care. soon.